Hello the Forgotten People and to my fellow collectors. Here is the detailed breakdown, a statistic and analysis of Hot Wheels mainline case D, D for Donkey for 2018. Uh, I hope you've watched my unboxing video before. Yeah, so that unboxing video gonna be a teaser of what cars they are. So in this video, we're going to run through the details, uh, statistic, and analysis. The first one, uh, the distribution, uh, we have thirty-one fantasy car, yeah, in total, and also forty-one uh, licensed car. Uh, there, there is a lot of licensed car, but then not as much as the case A previously. And among the thirty-one fantasy car, you can see uh, I've sorted up uh, the cars in a way, uh, the vehicles, eh? in a way that here are uh, the cars or vehicle that is carry over from the previous case. Yeah. On the most left are the licensed car, have two rows which is 10 each, so it is 20. And it goes to the license, uh, the, the fantasy car of the uh, carryover from previous case. And goes to the license car for the case that, that, that is released for the case D 2018. And at the most right are uh, the uh, fantasy vehicles or cars for the case D of 2018. Okay, so among the 31 fantasy car, there is 11 new release, yeah? And also among the 41 licensed car, there is 15 newly released. And the number of carryover, these are the carryovers from the previous case are 40, 42 compared to just 30 of the vehicles released specifically for the case D for 2018. Okay, those are the rundown. My comments or opinion with regards to this case, um, I'm still not like it because mainly you can see the Daredevil series yeah here yeah, the Daredevil series they included in this case again I'm not sure why maybe they just don't know what cars to include this is going to be abandoned this year or next year 2018 they even include duplicate of the Fiat 500 in my case. What's that for? I'm not sure. Yeah. And another thing that I don't like about this uh, assortment it is because there are a lot more carryover vehicles compared to the newly released one. Yeah. As you can see, the carryover they have a lot of duplicates. A lot of duplicates. Yeah, and for the newly released one, hardly any duplicates. Only three are duplicates, and the rest are single cars. To me, I feel like, oh, if you want cars from the KC, might as well just get the case D here. You got a lot of cars from the KC. Yeah, if you want cars from the case D. If you are buying uh, the box, might as well you wait for the case E. I'm uh, perhaps maybe they are going to have a lot more cards from the case D in the case E later on. Yeah, if you like the plicates, those are my take or my expectations of this or how the assortment of the case are being done by Hot by Hot Wheels or by Mattel yeah <clears throat> and something that to note is that we are still nowhere to be looking at cards number 50 so we don't know what cards is it or not that I'm aware of uh, so far I'm sure somebody got to know and you can just let me know in the comments below or through message yeah 
So I think I have covered. Oh, before we end, we got one regular treasure hunt there, which is uh, it is a street stealth. Yeah, it is a street stealth. Sadly, we don't have any uh, super treasure hunt in this case. And I think that's all the rundown of the statistic and analysis and also a bit uh, my take or my opinions with regard to this case. I hope you enjoy my video and thank you for watching as always. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Until then, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. See you.